an introduction to Power Armor in Fallout 4. Power Armor is an icon of this series. It turns regular wanderers into offensive juggernauts and brings with it a myriad of perks. It can negate fall damage, increase rad resistance, and enhance the strength of the wearer. Everyone needs a good suit of Power Armor. Obtaining Power Armor In previous Fallout games, Power Armor was a late game item taken from the corpses of powerful enemies or rewards to convoluted quest lines. Fallout 4 shakes things up a bit by giving the player power armor in the very first questline. Much like the Rifleman's Creed, this is your power armor. There are many like it, but this power armor is yours. Your power armor shows up as an icon on the minimap and you cannot store it in your inventory and must wear it to move it from place to place. If you want more than one set of power armor, you must find another empty frame hidden in the wastes. Most of the time, the frames are stripped to the bone and have to be upgraded back at your settlement. Fusion Core To balance out the fact that you get power armor so early in the game, each set of power armor requires a fusion core to be fully functional. Fusion cores are a consumable item that are plugged into the back of the armor and power it for a limited time. When the core runs out, you're unable to use VATs, execute power attacks, and move at a reduced rate. While power armor always uses up some of the fusion core energy, things like sprinting and using atoms like the jetpack or lights will use up your power core much quicker. Always make sure to keep an eye on your power level and try to keep extra fusion cores on hand. If you do run out of fusion cores, you can always find more in the wastes. Fusion cores are usually found in generators, high-level mobs, or in the back of enemy power armor wearers modification. The new power armor system really shines when it comes to repairing and upgrading your power armor. After bringing your armor to a crafting station in your base, you can repair damaged armor, install new pieces of armor onto the power armor frame, and upgrade existing pieces with a myriad of helpful modifications. Each piece of armor has three different types of modifications, model, paint, and add-ons. Each of these mods enhances your armor's attributes in different ways. Models enhance damage and energy resistance. Each progressively advanced model will also decrease the weight and increase the value of that piece of armor. Paint enhances a wide variety of attributes. You can mix and match paints to get a wide variety of enhancements or use one type of paint to overload a specific enhancement. Lastly, modifications add extra functionality to your armor. Different slots offer different types of modifications. For example, you can add on a headlamp to your helmet slot a jetpack to your chest slot, Tesla braces to an arm slot, and kinetic servos to your leg slots. The combinations are endless. This new system allows each wanderer to tailor their power armor to their playstyle, and we can't wait to see what types of builds players create. Thank you for watching our introduction to Fallout 4 Power Armor. What other Fallout content would you like to see covered in the future? Do you have a power armor build that dominates the wastes? Let us know in the comments below. This is Dash for Curse saying thanks for watching and enjoy the game.